Welcome back to Ultimate Movie Recaps. Thanks for supporting us. Today I am showing a 2023 American science fiction action thriller film titled 65. Watch out for the spoilers, just enjoy and take care. As the movie starts, we see Mills, who is currently on the planet Samaris, watching his daughter Naveen enjoy the beach. He tells his wife, Alia, that he has accepted a prospecting job that will last for two years. Usually, he only makes short trips, but he needs the additional cash to cover the cost of Naveen's medical treatment this time. After that, Mills instructs Naveen on how to whistle using only her hands before finally bringing up the issue of his trip with her as well. Sometime later, Mills takes charge of a ship as a captain that transports the crew in a cryogenic state. One day, the ship is struck by several pieces of meteorite when it comes into unexpected contact with meteorite activity. Mills rushes to the cockpit as the ship begins to disassemble and sends out an emergency signal while directing the ship to land on the planet closest to them. While Mills watches the impending crash that makes the ship into two halves, he thinks of his daughter until he passes out. A few minutes later, Mills regains consciousness to the sound of the computer stating that they are currently in an unknown location. After discovering that a piece of metal had pierced his stomach, he painfully removes the object and nurses his wound. Next. He gears up in his astronaut suit and starts looking around the ship to establish the extent of the damage. He finds that the cryo chamber has been breached. After getting armed with a laser gun, Mills exits the spacecraft and walks into a pool of water, where he is surrounded by a strange monster as it swims around him. He also discovers the dead bodies of his crew, and he is utterly broken to learn that none of them managed to survive. After checking the entire ship for damage and realizing that the escape pod is on the other half of the spacecraft that landed elsewhere, Mills sends out a second SOS transmission, this time indicating that he is in unfamiliar terrain. Mills, who is currently in a dismal and helpless state, pulls out his gun with the purpose of killing himself, but the thought of Naveen prevents him from carrying out his plan. Then, in order to hear Naveen's voice once more, Mills gathers all of the tapes that contain the messages she has been sending him. The computer all of a sudden identifies a functioning capsule nearby. Mills rushes to explore, and to his amazement, he discovers that passenger Koa is still alive inside, thus, he removes her immediately. Mills discovers a massive paw print on the ground while they are making their way back to the ship. This indicates that this planet was Earth 65 million years ago, revealing the presence of dinosaurs all around Mills. During the night, the pair finally make it to the ship, and Mills spends the rest of the night dreaming that Naveen is interrogating him about his location. The next morning, Mills wakes up with the intention of fleeing in order to save the girl. He attempts to detect the other half of the ship by using the computer on board, however, the scan is unable to locate it. After that, Mills decides to walk outdoors and investigate the surrounding region, and he comes across some enormous bones that demonstrate how terrible the local predators are. Additionally, he suffers burns from a hot geyser explosion, which he has never experienced before. After he has recovered, he notices a bright object in the distance and realizes that the other half of the spacecraft is on a mountain that is far away. A quick scan confirms it, and just as Mills is beginning to decide which way to go, a small dinosaur unexpectedly encounters him. After putting up a fight with the monster for a while, Mills eventually manages to drive it to the ground, where he then uses his gun to shoot it to death. Mills goes to investigate the noises coming out of the woods, and when he gets there, he finds that Koa has already departed the ship. As soon as she spots him, the girl immediately starts fleeing, and Mills chases after her. They end up falling down a slope together, where they discover a large dead dinosaur. Suddenly, the trees begin to tremble, and Mills notices a larger creature approaching them. So he grabs Koa and drags her back to the ship as quickly as he can. While he is nursing her wounds, he tries to explain the problem to her. However, it turns out that they do not speak the same language, and the translator on the ship is not functioning properly. Mills illustrates his idea by spreading a red powder across a tablet and drawing a mountain with a pod to show that in order to escape, they need to get to the mountain. Koa follows him and draws a picture of her parents, demonstrating that she is aware of the meaning of the word family. In order to keep Koa calm, Mills tells her that her family is also on the mountain. After that, Mills sends out another SOS message, claiming that he has located a survivor, while Koa locates Naveen's recordings. As she watches, it is revealed that during the first year of traveling, Naveen's sickness got worse, and she had to go to the hospital. The first few months of her messages were cheerful and proud of her dad, but as time went on, she became furious with him since he wasn't there for her. When Mills notices her watching the tapes, he immediately stops her and makes the decision to depart. Mills and Koa start their journey into the woods as soon as Mills gathers enough supplies for his pack. 
they must remain quiet so as not to draw attention to any potential dangers. Although it's a long and difficult voyage, Mills and Koa get closer every time he helps her when she trips or needs something. Koa notices something glowing red in the sky one afternoon, but she doesn't say anything about it. At one point, Koa gets tired of all the traveling and decides to pick some berries off of a bush so that she can hurl them at Mills in order to irritate him. Mills, annoyed, makes use of his scan to demonstrate that the berries are toxic, and he tells Koa not to tamper with them in any way. After some time has passed, a large insect descends on Mills' neck, his fingers are covered with an unpleasant sticky substance when he kills it. Mills attempts to wipe it off on a tree, but it's so strong that he falls with a piece of wood stuck to his hand, which makes Koa giggle. Mills tries to touch her with his unclean hand in order to tease her further, but their little game is cut short as a small tree topples in front of them. The two investigate the strange sounds coming behind a ledge, and they discover a small dinosaur trapped in a pit filled with sticky stuff. Koa feels compassionate for the creature and runs to help, however, Mills considers it to be risky. Mills winds up assisting her in completing the task more quickly as she does not heed his advice. The small creature flees away as soon as it gets liberated, but it could not survive a few steps more as it gets ambushed by a group of predators that kill it in a matter of seconds. Mills takes Koa to a safe place so that she won't have to see her friend get devoured, but even while she's away, she can still see what's going on and starts to cry. After the dinosaurs move away from there, the two proceed with their trek, pausing briefly at a waterfall to clean off and replenish their water supply. Mills is concerned about the harshness of the wound that he sustained to his stomach, but seeing Koa reminds him of Naveen, and this provides him with sufficient motivation to continue. Koa discovers some lovely flowers, and she continues to annoy Mills until he approves and lets her put one of them in his hair. A few minutes later, Mills' scanner no longer pinpoints the location of the mountain. He decides to climb a tree to have a better view of the surrounding region in order to rescan it. He suddenly discovers a bug on his hand. In an effort to remove the insect, he shakes his arm vigorously, however, the movement renders the branch to break, forcing Mills to fall and causing a dislocation of his arm. While Koa is assisting Mills in pushing his arm against a tree in an effort to realign it, a flock of dinosaurs hears the disturbance and begins to approach. In an effort to push things more quickly, Mills orders Koa to stand on his arm for the final push. After Koa does so, Mills instantly snatches the rifle and begins to fire it at the animals. In addition to this, he warns Koa to flee, and once she has reached as far away as she can, Mills detonates a few smaller explosives, which immediately kill 50% of the dinosaurs. Mills continues to fire at the remaining dinosaurs as they continue to pounce on him. While this is going on, a flock of flying dinosaurs descends close to Koa, and she quickly starts crawling away to hide behind a tree. Unfortunately, the earlier beasts find her, and just as they were about to lunge on her, Mills comes there and kills all of them. However, there is one that has been hiding, and it suddenly pounces on Koa from behind and drags her away. Mills doesn't waste any time. He chases them and fires a shot to drive them away. Now that Koa is too terrified to continue or even be around him, Mills chooses to sit down and gently allows her some space to breathe. As the sky begins to darken, Mills makes the decision to whistle for Koa, similar to what he used to do for Naveen, in an effort to soothe her anxiety. The trick is successful, and Koa agrees to continue the journey after responding with the whistling technique that Naveen's family has always used. After a long and arduous day of hiking, the two finally make it to the cave, where they decide to spend the night. Mills installs some sensors that will alert them of any potential threats and uses his scanner to peer at the sky, which ultimately leads him to recognize that the meteorite is nearby. However, considering it a minor one, he isn't too concerned about it. Koa abruptly diverts his attention by disclosing that she has brought one of Naveen's tapes, although Mills is initially irritated by this, he eventually allows the tape to be played because Naveen is a source of solace for both of them. Mills is having trouble falling asleep because he can't stop thinking about the day Alia called him to tell him that Naveen had passed away in the hospital. This causes him to grieve every time he thinks about it. Later in the night, Mills is roused from his sleep by the sensors, which are trying to warn him of an impending threat. When he checks on Koa, he sees that a bug has made its way into her mouth. He promptly uses a tool to kill the bug and then makes Koa blow out the remains from her mouth. The sensors start behaving erratically, and suddenly, at that moment, a massive dinosaur materializes outside the cave. Before Mills and Koa make their escape via a narrow opening in the cave's back wall, he fires his gun a few times at the creature. The two start hunting for a way out of the cave, unaware that a young dinosaur is following them. 
The two people are frustrated to find out that they have gone through a lot of walking and are now at a point where there is nowhere else to go. Mills discovers a narrow gap between two boulders and begins to dig in an effort to enlarge the gap, but, after several hours of work, he realizes that he has made very little headway and chooses to abandon his efforts. When Koa realizes this, she gets angry and asks him to try again as she continues shouting family. Mills attempts to explain to her that her family has passed away, but she doesn't understand what he's saying. Mills, who was under the impression that he did not have the necessary equipment, suddenly gets an inspiration. He uses a few explosives to make the hole big enough for a kid, and then he gives Koa the rest of the explosives so that she can be secure while she is exploring. After Koa crawls through the small hole and determines that there is sufficient space on the other side, Mills makes an attempt to follow her. Unfortunately, the hole gets closed all of a sudden, and Mills cries helplessly out of frustration when he loses sight of Koa. At that very moment, he hears the dinosaur approaching, so he grabs his weapon and goes back to the cave where he had been before. There, he uses his scanner to figure out where the dinosaur is hiding. When Mills gets attacked from behind by the creature, he starts shooting at it as soon as he sees it coming. However, the dinosaur manages to hit him, which makes him drop the gun. The creature then seizes Mills and bites his arm, but Mills manages to escape and triggers the scanner to activate an annoying sound that causes harm to the dinosaur's ears. Mills is able to get his gun and slays the beast once it gets distracted. In the meantime, Koa manages to get outside. She ventures into the woods on her own and discovers a massive bone that could be employed as a weapon. She then takes some poisonous berries and a large leaf and wraps them around the bone before keeping it in the bag. A few minutes later, Mills is able to escape the cave, and when he discovers a massive meteorite approaching, he uses his scanner to discover that the meteorite he saw before was only a fragment of a larger meteorite that could strike the Earth in a few hours, causing a devastating extinction event. He immediately searches for Koa and hears her scream as a dinosaur approaches her. Koa quickly hides inside the trunk of a tree as Mills pursues her, but he trips and falls into a trench filled with quicksand. He makes several attempts to contact Koa, but his condition worsens to the point where he is unable to speak. When Koa hears Mills' distress call, she gathers her courage and waits for the dinosaur to enter the tree trunk before throwing the bombs at it. As the beast is killed, Koa safely comes to the quicksand and leans over a tree to assist Mills in emerging from the pit. After exchanging hugs, Mills tells Koa about the meteorite as they continue running for the last few miles. The two arrive at the mountain's foot in the evening. Koa is the one to start climbing up first after Mills ties some rope around her, and then she cleverly knots the rope in a very intricate fashion around trees and rocks so that it will be able to support Mills' weight when he climbs up. They discover the other half of the spacecraft a little while later, and Mills quickly initiates the computer to check whether a rescue ship is headed their way. After searching for her family and discovering all the wrecked cryo tanks, Koa becomes enraged at Mills for lying. As she sobs, Mills pulls out a photo of Naveen and tells the girl that he lost his daughter while he was on the job, inferring that he can't let it happen again. Koa cries and hugs Mills while he profusely apologizes. As the smaller meteorite fragments start to fall to earth all of a sudden, Mills and Koa scramble to board the rescue pod. A piece of meteorite strikes the ship just as Mills is about to press the launch button, sending the pod hurling down the mountain and knocking the two unconscious. Koa is the first to awaken, and she swiftly clicks the launch button. However, the computer informs them that it cannot launch from this position. Suddenly, a massive dinosaur appears and starts assaulting the pod, just as Mills starts to awaken as well. Mills is forced to take the risk of leaving the pod to get the gun since it fell to the ground, only to find it ineffective. While a second Dino joins the assault, Mills scrambles to take cover behind a component of the ship in order to make the gun work. Suddenly, the dinos surround him, so. Koa quickly snatches the Naveen's tape and plays it on the scanner to generate a hologram of Naveen outside the ship. Mills breaks down in tears because he believes he is seeing his daughter for the last time before he passes away, but it turns out that the dinosaurs were tricked and misled, and they attack the hologram before they could attack Mills. Mills takes advantage of this diversion to sneak up on the first creature and dispatch it easily, however the second creature pushes the ship forward in pursuit of Koa. Mills does not waste any time and goes after it as well. After a few well-placed bullets, this dinosaur succumbs to its wounds as well. The pod is now in the ideal position for takeoff because of the creature's push. However, before Mills can make his way back, the beast that he had previously shot in the cave makes its way back and begins to pursue him. With a strategy in mind, Mills runs towards the geysers and makes the dinosaur stroll into a hot jet of water that smashes its face. Unfortunately, it does not cause a significant amount of damage. Nevertheless, 
Just at that moment, Koa appears and stabs the dinosaur in the eye with the bone that she had prepared before. The dinosaur begins to flail and walks on top of another geyser. The explosion this time hits it on the stomach and successfully kills it by burning it. After that, Mills and Koa go back to the pod and are successful in taking off just in time before the meteorite strikes the earth, causing the extinction of the dinosaurs. After the capsule has left the atmosphere, the autopilot directs it to the rendezvous place, where a rescue vessel will be waiting for the two. As they are going home, Mills closes his eyes and acts as though he is going to see Naveen again soon while Koa tries to reassure him by holding his hand. This marks the end of the movie and thanks for watching.